Now, hello everybody. We are mending the soil, adding some vermiculite, adding some perlite, perlite and some peat moss. I'm fixing to break out the old tiller and till it in. But this is kind of a before so y'all can see what it's going to look like when we get done with the after. But I want to talk real quick, a couple of seconds about this tiller. It is an excellent tiller for uh, raised bed gardens. It's a little two cycle. It's got the four prongs on the bottom. It's a Craftsman uh, two cycle 25 cc tiller that uh, Southern Boy Prepper and his beautiful wife bought us for Christmas. And I was looking for one and I asked him to look on his Facebook marketplace for a used one for me and we could never find one and I just kind of forgot about it and then Christmas morning we were over there and opened up this box and I had a brand new tiller in it. I was so surprised and so was Teresa. So she's out there getting some of the weeds and spreading some of the stuff out before I start tilling her. We'll till it all up really, really good and spread it out and get it going. I won't bore y'all with the tilling because y'all did, I did that on the last video, but we'll be back when I'm done. This is uh, one of the problems we're having in our garden this year. Are these gigantic grub worms. See how big that sucker is? It, uh, it will eat your root and come up. So we're having to dig down and try to get them give them to the chickens the chickens will love them but this is the first one I found I found a bunch of them last year so we'll see there y'all go nope I got it gotta find y'all some more well the transformation has begun. 
I don't believe we're going to be using them spools anymore, are we, Teresa? No, they're going to get hard. And to put them in the burn pile. They're rotten and no good, so we've got to figure out another. Have you thought about what, huh? We're going to use these this year. The pellets for the swimming pools? Okay. So we've got it all tilled up. Let me show you how it looks. Sorry about my shadow. Now we need to mark our area for the fence. We're gonna put a, um, a weed cloth over there where she's raking at. It goes all over. The whole area, the whole garden. You should recover it with mulch. She wants to put rocks along the edge here. We will see. We don't know. Anyway, a little bit at a time. All right, so we decided to lay our fabric cloth and cardboard out first. We put all the cardboard underneath there and then we put the fabric cloth on top of it and held it down with staples, uh, fabric staples. Now I'll finish putting the T-post up. I started the four, I got the four corners. That one there, that one there this one and that one over there and then we, me and Teresa will put these two the sides and then we'll be ready to run the fence and put some mulch down we'll be back all right it's starting to get dark here and we're not nearly finished but I'll show you what we did get done we got the of course I showed y'all earlier the the felt paper down or the uh, not felt paper but moisture barrier or weed barrier I'm sorry that's how we're doing our swimming pools that's the strawberries right there and those are going to have strawberries in them as well so you got our pots on the back row we got the fence up but it's just temporary we don't have it tight that's a hundred foot long fence and this is all we had left just this little tiny bit here and tomorrow we will tighten her up and uh, fix it right. You'll hear all the crickets. See how wobbly the fence is? We still got to tighten her up. But a little quick walk around. As y'all see, this will be our garden this year. And she will have lights in it like she did last year. We're already talking about that. It is from this side. Not a very big one, but it is a raised bed garden, and she's always wanted one. We had one last year. So, are you happy? Yes. Yes, very happy. Okay. <laughs> this is it. I'm not changing it no more. She said that last year, y'all. No, because we had the beds on the outside. Yeah. So nothing is on the outside of the fence. Everything is fenced in. Nothing can get to the garden this year. Yeah, we already had somebody dig, dig up our broccoli. So yep. Something. Got a little net over the strawberries to kind of protect them from the birds, even though there's no strawberries on them yet. But they do have blooms. So give us a few weeks and this will be looking pretty with plants in it. I can't wait. And we can also utilize the back fence for a trellis, a running trellis if we needed to. For uh, some cucumbers or beans or... Oh, let me show you all these. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. It's pitch black dark out here, but I will see if the light is bright enough over here for them to see. We have our tomatoes out here. Nope, it's just too dark. Let me move them over here to the light. These are my potato plants. They need more dirt on top of them. They're getting too tall. But, so far so good, guys. I'll tell y'all's loved ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings. And 
as we go along with the garden we will keep y'all posted and updated have a good night